Welcome back to another episode of Just Spontaneous Meals. Today I have with me some of my co-workers and friends that to give me a hand. Mm -hmm. And okay, we're gonna start off with we're gonna make a banana blueberry shake today. And I made some homemade, okay, these are some walnuts that I sprouted, soaked them overnight, and then I drained the water. Now you sprout them because you want to open up the, the proteins in them so they can be much more absorbable to your body and to help with your, to aid in your digestion. Now, walnuts are a very good source of omega acids, omega-3 fatty acids, as well as a good source of protein and many other things. So I made a walnut water, as people call milk, out of them. And reaching over, this is how it looks. I strained it. You don't have to strain it if you don't want to, but I strained it. And I'm going to get into making my my coworkers and friends over here. My blueberries and banana shake. Now, these are my coworkers and my friends because when I don't have fresh fruit, these are great standby. So I'm gonna be using sea moss to this shake as I normally do and I'm gonna be putting some cinnamon in it. Okay, so here goes. Okay, I've now blended up the sea moss with the walnut milk or water. And I'm now going to be adding the bananas, the blueberries, and I'm going to add some aside to that as well as the um, cinnamon. So, be back again. Hold on. I don't want y'all to hear all this nowhere, so pardon me. Alright, yeah, we're back. And my blender is all blended up. You see the beautiful purple color, beautiful purple color. And so now I'm going to pour it into my little mug on the side here. Y'all see my favorite mug. Um, and I have some date sugar on standby if I need some sweetener to it. But um, I'm not that into sugar, so I'm mean, gonna have to use it. Um, but before I do that, as I said, these are the walnuts. I use, like, you can use a cup of walnuts to two and a half cups of water, depending on how, um, how liquidy or how thick you want your beverage to come out to be, is how much water you add to it for me. And uh, when I strained it, this is how it looks after you strain it. And you could also put this into your soups or stews or even other smoothies if you like. Or bake it in your baking ingredients, cookies, cakes, even pies. So that to the side. And um, what else I want to say? Yeah. I didn't use all the blueberries because it's a lot in here. But I did use a whole pack of bananas. And you can pre-soak this if you like. You can put it straight in the blender or you can just you can soak it also. Some other friends I have over here are you see bananas, some apples, some mangoes, some mangoes. I got some, some figs behind me. Kamu Kamu, which is a great, um, a great vitamin C powder. This is what this is, vitamin 
legacy powder. This little fruit here has, how many times? I don't know, it has more vitamin C than an orange does. Got some strawberries here, some coconut, dates, and some pears. So these are my little buddies. These are my little buddies here. And let's go take, go ahead and taste this shake. Nice and thick. Whenever you use, or whenever I use the uh, sea moss, it gives a little more body to it because sea moss can be used as a thickener. And I love using sea moss actually because of the main two minerals that it contains, according to the late Dr. Samuel. So I give that one out to him. Let's taste. Enjoy the rest of your day or 